All right, Shalom. 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 First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rachak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and, and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, uh, we want to title this lesson here, uh, Differences in Administrations. Okay, uh, in the body, we know that uh, throughout uh, the body, there are, there are different uh, skill sets that are given to men, okay, uh, spiritually, basically all to create one goal, which is the, the building of the house of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So, uh, without further ado, yeah. Uh, we'll start out here with the book of Romans, the 12th chapter. And we're going to read from the third verse. It says, For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as the Most High had dealt to every man the measure of faith. Right, man. Okay, so the first part of it, it says, through the grace given unto me. So we know that this that this faith that we have and this understanding that we have is through the grace of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We don't, we don't uh, really necessarily deserve it as something is a gift, okay? And so we ought not to think that our gift is more valuable than another man's gift in the Lord because it ultimately, ultimately like I said, is a gift. Um, it says, uh, it says uh, to think soberly according as the Most High hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. So that measure is has has, has been predetermined by the Lord to uh, uh, to give to that particular man because he knew that that man would be profitable in that area. Don, I got a quick precept. This is First Corinthians chapter four, verse seven. It says, "For who maketh thee to differ from another? And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Now, if thou didst receive it." Why dost thou glory as if thou hast not received it? Mm. <laughs> so, you know, everybody's been, you've received this gift. You've received these talents through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh It wasn't of your own doing as if you you made it up. It was of the Holy Spirit that through the through the sacrifice that Yahweh Shai made was poured unto you. So you should be meek and humble and thankful that the moral side has placed it into your mind to receive such gifts. Come. Okay. Okay. Let me go back. Uh, yeah, if you go back to Romans, we'll just read the next verse and then go to the next one. Okay. Romans 12 and 4 says, for as, for as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. Right. So we don't have all the same office. I might as well go ahead and uh, get that word, that word office. Um, in the Greek, that word office, it says praxis. It sounds like practice, <laughs> you know. Uh, a doing, a mode of acting, a deal, transaction, uh, let's see, a business, a thing to be done. Okay, so we don't all have the same particular uh, 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 business because it goes to mention a couple things, you know, uh, whether prophecy, let us prophesy, or ministry, or he that exhorteth, okay, uh, uh, or he that giveth. So these are different gifts that the Lord gives us according to our several ability. Mm -hmm. And we can, you know, segue to, uh, <clears throat> to Matthew 25. Uh, if a brother didn't have anything, Matthew 25, uh, 15, for that Bible question. Okay. Matthew chapter 25, verse 15. Okay. Two, 14, sorry, verse, verse 14. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says, For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. Mm -hmm. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one. To every man according to his several ability, the straight way took his journey. Right. All right. So so that man traveling to a far country uh, and, and delivering unto him his goods, that's the Lord giving us his spirit so that we can go out and preach the word as he commanded us. Okay. And so, you know, he gives different portions of the spirit to different men. Okay. According to his what? To his several ability. You want to get that word? Uh, several. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you get that word several, the, it's, it's Strong's G2398. Uh, mm -hmm. Strong's G2398. Idios. Idios. Yep, it's your idios, or, or really going back to who you are. Yeah, mm -hmm. it says, because it goes to the word ego. It says, pertaining to oneself, uh, one's own, but uh, belonging to oneself. Kind. Okay. So it says several ability. Now, when you look up that word ability, that goes into that word. Um, 
I know it's going to the word uh, he, yeah, Didymus would mean Dynamous. power. Right. Yeah, yeah, like, like, power like your, yeah, like your, your several abilities, so your one's own power, what's been poured into you to do. Everybody mm. has a different range or capability according to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Kai. You know? Kai. Yeah, yeah, so, hey, the water, uh, beautifully put. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's different measures of the spirit, like, like the elder said. Um, <clears throat> and so we ought to take those talents and those spiritual abilities that the Most High gave us and do what? Return on investment. Mm -hmm. Okay. We invest in when we go out on the highways and byways, we do the work. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we bring forth fruit. Okay. That's part of bringing forth fruit, meat for repentance. We're spreading that gospel so that other men can hear and believe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you want me to keep reading on this? Uh, we, we, can move, we can move on. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. First Corinthians nine and uh, seventeen. You want to pull that? Uh, yeah. First Corinthians nine and seventeen. For if I do this thing willingly, I have re I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. Right, man. Okay, and we're gonna get that word dispensation. But you know, this, this reading this verse kind of reminds me of when uh, the prophet uh, Jonah, you know, tried to basically rebel against. Uh, <laughs> rebel against uh, the, the commandment of the Lord by, you know, running away from the Most High, okay? He did not do this thing willingly. This thing <laughs> is talking about doing this work, you know, preaching the gospel. So if we, do, if we do the work willingly, obviously we have a reward, but even if it's against our will, that dispensation, which we're going to get, is committed unto us, which means we can't run away from it, okay? Uh, so let me see, get this word, dispensation. Okay, the water. Economia, mm -hmm. like an economy, it mm -hmm. says the management or of a household or of household affairs, mm -hmm. specifically the management, oversight, administration of others' property. Mm -hmm. Okay, the office of manager or overseer, mm -hmm. stewardship, yep, administration, dispensation. Right, man. Okay, so we have the uh, we have the the we're obligated to manage the most high's affairs okay his his household affairs we're supposed to keep uh, uh keep the what's it a steward you know going into a good steward you got to keep the keep the house you know a, a steward oversees the the household affairs like it says and then also um uh administrating i i think of an administrator you know administrator is somebody who would over oversees things delegates tasks you know just basically like i said set up in a position to where they they have to be responsible with the with the power that they've been given from a higher uh you know a higher power higher yeah, position a lot of times we think about the state the state creates administrative liaison in a certain institution so you might be thinking about education and you're gonna have you know you might have a superintendent and certain other administrators administrative offices mm -hmm. that do what they, they put together the school board they make sure they got the principal they make sure all the teachers is on point mm -hmm. so on and so forth so if that school is running bad if it's not performing well who are they going to look to as responsible for the problem in the school mm -hmm. they're going to look at the administrators mm -hmm. so if a, dispens a, a dispensation of the gospel is going to be you know unto that person that's been given to Paul for is, is the example in this case so if the, if the churches that he's writing to are not performing, you know, if they're not up to par, so to speak, right. in the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and the glorifying of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, Paul gonna he gonna take that in the spirit as admonishment to get them right, mm -hmm. to make it uh, be better or right. more on point according to the spirit. You know, right. con con. And and then when you read that that next verse, verse eighteen, it says, "Where what is my reward then?" Verily, that when I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of Hamashiach without charge, that I abuse not my power in the gospel. Right, because we this was a gift that was given unto us. So that's why he wrote uh, in uh, Romans twelve and thirteen, where it says, "Not to think of yourself highly than any other man, because even though he's in a higher position, it was ultimately a gift that was given to him. It was it was a, it was a, a a dispensation or an administration of the gospel that was committed unto him. Somebody gave that to him, you know, which is how about Shimei Shai." Um, and then, uh, unless somebody has something else, last one I want to get is 1 Corinthians uh, 12 and 4. Okay, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4 says, Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. Mm -hmm. 
and there are diversities of operations, but it is the same uh, Most High which worketh all in all. Gone. So, so that those diversities of gifts all come from the same Spirit. You know, teaching, prophesying, uh, mm -hmm. uh, being uh, <clears throat> being charitable. Okay, speaking with tongues, diversity of, of tongues, interpretations of tongues, healings, kind of, you know, uh, interpretations of dreams, you know, all of those things uh, are, are of the same spirit. It comes from Yahweh, uh, through a son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so that's why, you know, like I said, there's differences of administrations. Mm -hmm. So your your gift may, you know, be, diff be different, but, you, you know, like I said, it's all part of being one body in your how about you know, shot. Yeah, man. See, like the spirit, like within our camps, I'm more of a technical lecture teacher type. Like I like to have things done in a certain technical manner. But the head of camp Yashawamba is is more of a prophesying type. Okay, the spirit of prophecy, the the ebb and flow and, and nature of the word in that manner. So where he is strong in that. I come back in and, and I'm strong in the way that I am. And, and a lot of times what we do is compare ourselves to other people. And we, you ought not to do that, okay? Because right, it yeah. can hold you back and also can hold back the man that's next to you. So for us to properly iron shop and iron, brothers need to make sure that they're bringing, they're, they're uplifting the spirit or the administration that's being given to them because if you're trying to copycat and be like somebody else mm -hmm. you're actually holding the whole group back you know we watch all these movies where you have what you have the man with the sword and the shield then you have the dwarf with the axe and then you have the wizard well if you have the wizard trying to be the man with the sword and the shield <laughs> things ain't gonna go right god 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 if you got the dwarf trying to be the wizard you know we're gonna get defeated Mm. Everybody needs to make sure that they coming into this battle, the spiritual battle that 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 we in right now, fully prepared and you and you checking yourself on. Okay, what's my spirit? Am I doing what I'm supposed to do? Am I staying in my lane mm -hmm. according to the spirit and power? You how about you now? Shot and grow and build off that. Con, con. Okay. Yeah, you kind of, and ultimately, the really the whole chapter um you know goes into mm -hmm. uh, into this topic, but uh like I said, if, if uh brothers don't have anything, I'm just read. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna just read this one verse right here in uh, in verse uh, 11 because it mentions the different uh, the different gifts you know in between where we where we skip verse 11 it says but all these worketh that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will for as the body is one and hath many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body so also is Hamashiach. So he, uh, Paul's comparing the, the different members of your physical body, how they work together. They're all part of the whole body. The same deal with the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And so... I got one. It said to divide them. Uh, dividing mm -hmm. to divide them into parts, to part, to tear, cleave, or cut asunder, to distribute. Yeah, distribute. Yeah. 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 yeah, the spirit is distributed over the, over the body. Okay. Okay. Um, I got this in Ephesians chapter 4, um, verse 7. It says, But to every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Hamashiach. Okay? Now, when you skip down, uh, it says in verse 11, And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach, till we all come in the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of the Most High into a perfect man, until the measure of the stature of the fullness of the Hamashiach. Okay? The, the, the end of our faith, that completed body pulled together to receive that promise that was always been prophesied, man. So all of these brothers and spirits are being pulled together for that purpose, man. You know, kind, kind. Now you said it beautifully. I mean, that really ties the lesson in together. Uh, unless another brother had anything else, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, uh, Abaratza, it was an edifying lesson. You know, uh, with that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom.